Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips and I finally switched to Vista. No, I haven't really. I'm on Windows XP. I've got Vista going on in a virtual machine and it's a uh, Service Pack 1. I've just updated it. See Vista Ultimate Service Pack 1. So, I'm basically in this video I'm going to show you how to get custom themes on your Vista machine. Now, this is Vista Ultimate, this should work for Premium and the rest of them. And um, what I've done is I've enabled the administrator, so I'm logged on as administrator. Now, if you don't know how to do this, uh, look back in my previous videos, I've written one already. I'll probably link it in the description on how to uh, enable administrator. Because I almost uh, chucked my PC out of the window because of this whole access denied error messages and user account control. It really does irritate me when it comes to Windows Vista, so you may struggle to do this. Because what I'll be doing is showing you a manual way to patch it, which is similar to what I did in... Um, Windows XP but uh, this time it's a different way to do it for Vista, you have to replace more than one file. So um, anyway, the first thing to do is to get hold of a program like 7-zip because uh, the files we'll be downloading are going to be in RAW format so um, I'm just going to copy this across, This is uh, I've got this uh, in XP. Now this is in a virtual machine, in virtual box, so I'm just going to paste in, oh it doesn't want to work, so I'm just going to type it in within windows.com forward slash UX theme patches okay so we're in within windows now if you don't have service pack 1 because I've got service pack 1 at the moment you just need to go to Vista and then I think it's service pack 0 and then you just go for this one but uh, for the time being I'm going for service pack 1 and I want the XX not the AMD 64 because that's the 64 bit version so I'm just going to save this into my downloads and I'm going to open the folder extract it with 7-zip and you should see that I've now got three files here. Now I need to replace these. Uh, I need to replace some system files uh, with these, basically. So I'm going to say System32 into the search and open it. This is C Windows System32 here. And uh, basically, I need to drag these files into here. Now, if you try to do it straight away, it will say access denied because uh, you have to keep, have ownership of your files, which I think is absolutely stupid. But So we need to go to properties of the UX theme to begin with. Uh, I'll go in reverse order. Security, advanced, owner, and then you need to make sure ad the administrator is the owner. So I'm just going to say edit, click administrator, OK. So it says, you have just taken ownership, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I now need to go into the permissions for it. Now I need to do this for each of them. So I need to basically click administrator and then allow. Now I'm going to do this again so you can see what I've done. You're about to change permission. Yes. Okay. So now I should be able to replace this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it .old. So that's now re renamed. And I can actually drag this in now if I wanted to. So you can see I've just put the new UX theme in. So next up is the theme UI. Now I'll, try, I'll do this again so you can kind of see. Uh, let me find it first. Theme UI, there we are. Properties. Security. Advanced down here. Owner. We're going to edit the owner because at the moment it's trusted installer. And we're just going to click administrator. OK. You have taken ownership. OK. Change permissions. Edit and then click your uh, whatever your username is and allow full control because you only get read access even though you're administrator I still can't understand that so I'm now going to rename that to dot old and drag this in and the last one is shvcs shvcs uh, vcs there we are Oops. I'm just going to go properties Security, advanced, owner, edit, that one, take ownership, okay. Because if you tried this and not enabled yourself with full control, it wouldn't let you, and it would give you an error saying you can't do it. So, um, this is pretty much it. Uh, oh, oh, see, I haven't done it properly. <laughs> there we are, let me try to be too quick. So, I'm going to go back into the uh, ownership. Oh, I must not have given myself ownership. I'll try again, shall we? Okay, okay, there we go, system, that's why I didn't give myself permissions. Administrator, full permissions, there we go, yes. So you might find yourself at coming up with an error because I didn't give myself permissions. So, 
Uh, now, now I can do it and bring it across and it will let me. So you see I made a mistake there, so you'll probably end up doing the same if you don't enable permissions on the right one or you don't um, keep ownership on the right one. So anyway, uh, they're all replaced and I can now reboot my computer and it will then be able to have custom themes. That's pretty much it. Now while that's rebooting, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is just uh, done by Vishal Gupta or Gupta and basically um, it's just it looks like just a blue theme um, now I couldn't do an aero theme which I really wanted to do but it doesn't uh, aero doesn't work in VirtualBox so I'm just stuck with this uh, that play buttons uh, for a Firefox add-on which I'll go into in another video but you can see it's all blue here so it's like properly made out as blue so uh, it's uh, different to the actual one you get so this is designed for Vista Basic because I can only get the basic theme and um, so uh, my Vista is now starting up my ultimate Vista with Service Pack 1 so if you guys didn't know um, Service Pack 1 was uh, released I think yesterday actually uh, you can download it uh, just type in Service Pack 1 into Google if you're on Vista and you should be able to download it it's like a five language version it does take a while to update I was waiting there for about 45 minutes for it to update so um, anyway <laughs> uh, if you have if you don't have administrator um, you, you'll find you'll get even more prompts as you try and replace things so I just suggested that enabling administrator because it's a lot less hassle so uh, we're now starting up Vista Ultimate and you can see it works perfectly there's no problems here and um, I'm just going to close this and uh, all I need to do now is download this uh, Vista Blue RTM so I'm just going to uh, Google it I think because it didn't seem to copy my thing in so I'm going to say oh, what was it Vista Blue RTM basic no go away there we go and I'm just going to download this, uh, this theme and we should be able to get it installed. Now I know that there's a program called uh, it's called Vis Vista Glass. Now you might want to try that out, but um, I tried to do it and it um, to replace the uh, things for custom themes, but it wouldn't let me. Uh, it, ca it came out with an error, so I'm just doing it manually. So I'm extracting this uh, RTM theme. It's got a readme inside it. It just says uh, patch your stuff. It says download Vista Glass, but again, that didn't work for me. Extract to resources themes. So I'm going to do is just type into the search themes. And oh, it's been indexed. Okay, uh, we'll go through manually then. Uh, computer, C, Windows, R E S O, resources, themes, and we just need to copy the files into here. So I just need to copy this folder. Copy this Vista Blue RTM, and that's done pretty much. I can now double click this Vista Blue RTM, and if everything has gone well, it will change. So I'm going to double click it, and the theme has changed, and it's worked brilliant. So you can now see everything's blue. If I press OK, it all goes black, and eventually, <laughs> yay, it works good. So everything seems to work fine. This is uh, great. See, as you can see, it's working. Everything's all gone all blue, and uh, you can now start downloading uh, different uh, styles that you want from DeviantArt as um, recommended. But be careful when you're searching for Vista themes because you'll find a lot of the time you'll get Vista st style things for XP because a lot of people use XP, and obviously it's been around longer and people have been wanting the Vista look on XP for a while. So you may find that you'll find a lot of things that have Vista styles for XP, but. Um, there are still some ones out there out for um, Vista and um, I'm sure there's a website somewhere that someone may be able to provide but anyway uh, so, uh, someone asked me how to do this so I thought I'd uh, put it in the video and I, I apologize for not remembering your name but this is how to get custom themes working in Windows Vista so I hope this helps someone thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again